Bulls doesn't have to be enjoyed just on this event or just on New Year's Eve. Ed Tompkins joins us. He's from Heinen's, one of the great places for wine. You guys have great selections of wine there. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that you showed up there. How many years ago? Oh, uh, the 1800s, I believe. Uh, <laughs> <It was a laughs> the Last Supper, <laughs> almost 30 years. Yeah, almost 30 years. Yeah, I yeah. met him at West Point Market way back in the day. You, were, yeah. you weren't even old enough to drink then, I don't think. Well, you know, when you start at four, that's kind of hard. But uh, <laughs> when you have a great palate, it sometimes uh, covers a lot of things that age doesn't. Okay, everyone talks about sparkling wine. They talk about champagne. They talk about uh, Paris. They talk about... France, mm. this is, where's, what's this? Well, believe it or not, this could almost be considered a local wine. It's a little over three hours away in uh, the Niagara Peninsula in Ontario. And uh, this is something that at Heinen's we're really, really proud to be working with. Um, everybody thinks up there it's ice wine, and it is. But it's there's also, a lot of great ice wine. Uh, amen. But there's also a lot of cool climate things like you know, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, and, and bubbles. Yeah. And this is something that um, is, is fantastic. It's a, uh, from the 13th Street Winery in uh, the peninsula. It's 100% Chardonnay, all, all uh, estate bottled, uh, zero dosage, meaning it's bone dry, mm -hmm. and it's $25. And it's just an zero amazing Zero dosage, value. is that what you just zero said? Zero dosage. Kind of rolls off the tongue, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. I learned a word here. So, yeah. so that means it's very, very dry. Very, huh? very dry. And you'll, and you'll, you'll see that. It's, it's Chardonnay. But, you know, when you, and please don't, uh, don't, Overlook the, the aromatics of, bu of bubbles because it should smell yeasty, almost like a boulangerie yeah. when I go uh, on the French side of things, uh, like fr uh, fresh baked bread because of the yeastiness in mm -hmm. there. You just see it's like mouth watering and tart. It's amazing. And I'll tell you what, you, you talk about this being dry, but it's got a nice broad flavor to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very flavorful. It's not austere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This guy's got words like he, like he knows his <laughs> stuff. You're good, man. Thank you. But, you know, it's a great time, like you said, to drink bubbles. But And how much did you say? It's twenty four ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a you know, full selection from uh, Prosecco's, uh, Oregon, obviously French Champagne, Let's California. Let's talk a little bit about Prosecco's because I know a lot yeah. of people who don't like wine that much, right. they like Prosecco's. Why is that? Well, I, I like to call it the uh, the bubbles gateway drug. Uh, it's what people really kind of start out on now, which yeah. is amazing. It's very easy to drink. Uh, it, it's not overly complex, but they're really good values. Uh, this is our own Prosecco we sell for Twelve dollars, and um, it's great in mimosas. But it's just a really good dry example of bubbles where people back in the day would start out with like uh, Asti. Yeah. Now they're starting out with Prosecco. Which I got to tell you one thing that's great about Heinen's. I go to Lender Circle a lot. I see mm -hmm. Dave over there. Yeah, yeah. I see uh, Mr. Fishman over at sure. the Heinen's on Green Road. You go and you ask for some help, and you get help. It's not like they're trying to sell you something that they want to sell. They try to figure out how much you really want to spend, and you get the best thing for your dollar. No question about it. And with yeah. the, the selection we have, it's easy to find the right wine for the right person. So this one here, you got some extra bucks, you throw it at this one, right? Amen. Yeah, you know, it's Mouve Clicquot. It's French. Uh, it's a time of year to celebrate and, you know, not look back on dollars. Yeah. But, um, you know, champagne always tastes better this time of the year. Um, and obviously, the bubbles are great by themselves, but they're amazing food wines. And that's yeah. a whole other segment. But, you know, with the acidity and uh, how they work with food, people don't do bubbles enough with the, with the meal. Which so, is, so this would be a great house gift to bring to somebody if you're going to a, yeah. a holiday party. Yeah, you get that gift box this time of the year. Yeah. And, uh, there's actually some uh, some chiller jackets that they have. So it's, uh, it's pretty neat. Yeah. It's a nice I gift. saw some people trying to drink, uh, uh, Charlize Theron trying to drink out of one of those little things they put in the top of the little bottle. <laughs> yes. And yes. finally she just took out through it. In out. the movies, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, yeah. Let's go for it. Well. This looks like a party in a bottle right here. Yeah, that's uh, Chandon from California. Uh, it's the Rosé. Um, they're really, uh, Chandon is owned by Moet and Chandon, which is the Dom Perignon guys in France. Right. So there's the Rosé, the Blanc de Noir, which is all Pinot Noir, uh, Spanish Cava Rosé. Uh, it's A to Z in terms of what kind of bubbles you Let's you talk a little bit about this Spanish one. What, what's the cost and what's the flavor profile on that? That's it? under $15. So it, it's, I, I don't want to say this to the wrong person, but if Prosecco is the gateway drug of uh, Italian bubbles, Cava is that for Spain. So uh -huh. great values. Uh, you get a lot of uh, bang for your buck. You don't need to spend a lot either. It's, right. You know, you can do everyday bubbles and uh, splurge on the uh, the important stuff. So if we're going to have some food, and uh, if you're t doing this one, which is a little sweeter, mm -hmm. what would you, what kind of food would you enjoy with that? That'd be cheese, you know, really good Italian cheeses, uh, Taleggio, the stinky cheese, and uh -huh. some gorgonzola, some Parmesan would be phenomenal. And going going with the Clicquot, what, what, what with this one? Seafood. Seafood. Again, lobster. That's the holidays. Yeah, it sounds excellent. All the way down here to this one, the Spanish. You know, the the rosé kind of things, I like with pork. Uh, you know, like a dried cherry sauce. Uh, it's it's made from Pinot Noir, so there's that inherent kind of dried cherry character. Mm -hmm. That'd be really, really good. See, that's another thing. You talk to someone like Ed or some of the people that he's hired over at Heinz, and you'd learn an awful lot in a hurry. And it's sort of like like building blocks. I mean, you learn a lot over a lot of time, and yeah. you become more interested. Yeah, it's like a wine shop and a grocery store. It's perfect. Cheers. Happy holidays. You as well. My friend. Hey, more New Day Cleveland when we come back.